ministered to by some people who love you and want to share your love with us. And so we're, we're privileged for that this morning. And as, we, uh, as we look at our service and our, and our worship, we pray that uh, our hearts and our, our minds and our souls and our strength, everything that we are will be focused on who you are and the sacrifices you made for us. And our love for you this morning uh, will shine in a way in which uh, you'll be able to see just not only by the things that we say, but just by the countenance of our own lives. And so as we sing our song this morning, we lift them up to you. In the name of Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.
you've not heard it before, it comes from, I believe, Psalm 46. It says, Be still and know that I am God.
fellowship with other believers, those who know and love you. And thank you for this special Sunday morning. Open our hearts to receive this message. Even though it's in song, Lord, the message is still about you. The message is still as powerful. We thank you for those wonderful believers who have come this morning and have worked and have done what they have done to perform for us. We want to pray a special blessing on them this morning that your Holy Spirit would be so evident in their lives that we would receive the message that you give to us. We pray, Lord, also that as we hear them sing, as we, as we sit and listen, that we open our hearts and that we don't just sit and be entertained. The wonderful singers and wonderful people. The Lord, you are the one that we look to. And it's for this reason we come to share Him with us. Thank you, Lord, that you've given us this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Just remain standing and let's sing this little chorus.
song that we actually picked out of a different tune to it. Sometimes we come in too early on the entrance. But you know, one thing I did do right this morning is I did invite the heart on <laughs> to come and to minister to us. And uh, this is going to be a wonderful uh, time of, of, of worship. And uh, we want them to come and uh, minister to us. And uh, just say thank you for coming and uh, to talk to you. Oh, yeah. 
I've seen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But, uh, but on there, you know, when you cut an album, they can make you sound good. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and so, uh, but anyway, you know, we're just singing and playing in faith and just hope they get it turn out good. Amen. But uh, I'm just kidding with you. But we're going to do a few of them for you this morning. And uh, that'll be the first time that we've done that as well. Because we just got our tracks for those songs. And, and uh, God's just really blessed our ministry. And if you want to help us in that in that uh, uh, part of our ministry, uh, we would appreciate that. Those CDs, they are $15. And uh, that's all we have on the table right now when we get some more stuff. But we have our cards. It's got our phone number and uh, email address and everything on there. And uh, But if you want to uh, help us with that, we, we appreciate that so much. Right here on the left is my sister, and has been all my life. Amen. Because she's older than I am. And, uh, amen. And so, but anyway, uh, she, she served with me at the church there as a music minister for 11 years. And she actually played the piano there at that church for 25 years. Amen. So she started when she was three. And, uh, and so, but anyway, uh, uh, I love her and appreciate her. I've always wanted to do this as a minister. And uh, she never wanted to do it, but I wanted to do it with her. I had several opportunities to go, and I didn't go. And, and uh, but I wanted to do it with this with this young lady right here because I love her and appreciate her and, and uh, uh, what she means to me in this ministry. And I appreciate her dedication. I appreciate every weekend that we sing that, that just to stand beside her. Amen. And share this gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Would you make her welcome this morning? <laughs> We met there in the local church, and she sang in our choir, and, and uh, uh, we sang uh, uh, together there several times, just off and on, and little did we know that God would put us together in this ministry. And she sang solos as well there in the church and, and uh, around in different churches, and, and uh, we appreciate her this morning, her and her husband, and I appreciate your husband too, but I didn't mention him, and, uh, but I appreciate her and, and her husband and dedication that they they put into this ministry. And I mean that right there. Would you make her welcome, Debbie and Rock? <laughs> My name is Brian Hooks and we are so glad to be here this morning. We pray that that something that we say, and we're not going to say a lot this morning, but we trust that the words of these songs that would just touch just the very being of you this morning. I want you to listen to a song this morning. It talks about without the cross, we would not know. How many of you know that it was at the cross of God that He died for you? He died for me. Amen. Listen to that word. Without the cross, we would not Oh! 
supposed to talk, Brian says, but I'm a crier. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want to talk because I'm embarrassed to cry, but you know what? I haven't got anything to be ashamed of. I am so thankful. This song was talking, the old music I was talking about, a rock. It was so nice to have a rock. I was raised in a Christian home. I had wonderful Christian parents. My father was in ministry. You know what? You drift away it's just sometimes as you get older. But I am so thankful for the rock and the steadfastness that was in my family growing up. That I was blessed. And sometimes I didn't know how blessed I was. But I'm so glad that I had something to turn back to the God that I drifted off and the Lord brought me back in. I want you to listen to the words of the song. Sometimes the old, the, us young, I say young folks, I'm 50 now. I, the younger folks don't realize what a blessing it was to have somebody so steadfast in their faith that no matter what happened, what went on around them, they were still strong. And I want you to listen to the words of this Because I, I think back to my parents, my grandparents, and they were so strong and so steady. So just listen to the words of the song this morning.
heartbeat of this ministry, friend, is to share this gospel, Lord Jesus Christ. Because there's people, even in our own city, that hadn't heard that name yet. And you know, if we can just spread this word and, and, and get somebody saved and show them the way to the cross, it's been more worth it all. It's been worth every mile. Amen. And our goal, and I know it's the goal of this church, is to see every man and woman, boy or girl, come to know Jesus as Savior. Amen. I want you to listen to a brand new song right now. Christy wrote this song some uh, four or five years ago. She wrote it actually for a for an Easter play that we were going to do it at the church there. And uh, we never, never did it. And uh, when we started on this album, she found it somewhere. I forget where it's been. On her piano bench, she forgot all about it. But have you ever wondered what if God didn't do this? What if God didn't do that? This song asks that question. I want you to listen to the words of what if God. So you and I could be saved. 
this morning to tell you that he'll never leave you. And he'll never forsake you. It's just a prayer way. Aren't you thankful this morning for that? If you would, I'm not going to linger this morning, but if you'll bow your heads.